Hey everybody, how are you guys doing? It is a new video. I haven't done one of these in a while. And uh, we're here in Ventura. I'm listening to an album by this guy called Sun Kill Moon. And we're listening, we're listening to Sun Kill Moon. We're going to drive from Ventura to Ojai and back. And I probably will break up this video in a couple so that you're not watching like an hour long video. Although, if you want to watch an hour long video, tell me below in the comments and I will put an hour long video. I just figure that um, it's easier to just watch something that's, you know, 10, 15 minutes long, 20 minutes long maybe than to sit there for an hour. Unless you want it like as background music or <laughs> background, you know, just have me drive around. I'm riding the Super 73 S2. Hudson blue color. I've tricked it out with some new things. I put a new chain ring on, uh, new handlebars, a bunch of little accessories, a new seat, some leather saddlebags, all that kind of good stuff. So I've kind of made it my own. That's one of the fun things about Super 73 is you can really kind of play with making it, customizing it. It's been a while since I've done these videos. Uh, and mainly that's because I've been so busy with working on this new film project idea. It's it's really basically, uh, I wanted to kind of create some sort of a documentary about this little town in Arizona that my mom moved to. So she moved to this place and thought it'd be fun to just record the kind of weird quirkiness of the town and kind of the unique elements of it. So I went a couple weeks ago to uh, shoot just some like footage to see if there's anything here. And I have like, you know, over 200 videos, like 250 videos, maybe even more than that, maybe closer to 300 videos to go through and to edit and to like compile. And so basically you're kind of like working in reverse instead of like writing a script and then shooting it. I'm basically shooting a bunch of stuff and then trying to find out of that a script, you know, a story. Um, so, man, it's not easy. It's not easy at all. And and it's, it's time consuming. So I've just literally been all my time. I haven't been working on my comics. I've only been doing that and um, I would rather be in film than comic books, to be honest. I want, I want to tell stories, and I, I love film stories, that medium. But uh, being a one-man show and having to edit is, is just it's a lot. And, uh, you know, I'm kind of new at it, so... Uh, it, the process... I'm just learning everything, getting the right gear, learning all the ins and outs and stuff like that, so time-consuming and laborious and learning and all that stuff, which is somewhat fun, but it's just, you know, sometimes I don't get a chance to really get into it until later on. And at the end of the day, in the evening, I'm tired, man. I just don't have, like, the mental energy to, like, listen to, watch all these videos of my mom talking, right, or whatever. <laughs> That's one of the issues, is, um, 95% of the footage is all just with her. I, I was able to do some off-camera meetings, but on camera, I don't have anything with anybody else. And so I'm hoping if I find that there's anything here to go another time and get other people on camera to then really see if this is worth doing. Um, and if it's not, then it's not, you know. But, it, I just wanted to kind of like give it a shot and see what's up. I mean, anything that's worth its salt is got tons of hours and self-doubt and questions and, you know, persevering through it, I think is what makes things really good. And so, oh, thank you. A nice event for letting it go. Hey, buddy. That kid. 
So this is, uh, we're in Ventura, California. We're about um, an hour north of Los Angeles and about 40 minutes south of Santa Barbara. And so that's where we are on the California coast. You've heard of those places. And uh, here in Ventura, this is, uh, this area, this like section of town is called the Avenue. And it's based on the main street here, which is called Ventura Avenue. And it's called the Avenue. And this is kind of more of the, uh, this is like the older part of town, the original part. And it's, uh, there's no real business. It's just all residential area here. And it's a little bit more ethnic, run down, there's a lot of words we can use. <laughs> it's older, it's cheaper, therefore, you know, people who don't have uh, the best jobs in the world live here, so everything's cheaper, so, you know, it's just a little bit more sketchier, all that kind of stuff. I mean, it's not like, it's like the Valley, LA Valley, you know, like the San Francisco Valley, something like that, it's not, it's not bad. I don't think it's bad. They say there's gangs here. I've never had ever an issue. I've been here for 16 years, but people say that there are some, some nefarious elements. I'm sure there are. Uh, there's also the Hell's Angels based out of here. So, they got a big chapter. I don't know if it was the first chapter, but I think so. It was one of the first chapters here in Ventura. So you will see Hell's Angels around sometimes, but you know, they don't mess with them. Uh, is, well, I mean, they don't mess with civilians. Generally. They don't want trouble. <clears throat> and the Latino gangs, I don't really know what's up with them. I haven't really counted them. Supposedly they are. There's no real African Americans here. There's a few, but very few. It's mostly. Uh, mostly Latinos, whites, um, man, I don't even know what other ethnicity, maybe like Filipino or something like that, there's a lot of Filipino in Oxnard, that's it, it's Latino and white, there's very few blacks, although I think there's more blacks coming, over the last like 10 years I'd say there's more coming in, probably because it's just cheaper than some parts of LA or just other opportunities might be here. Although when I just said that, I don't really know any opportunities that have grown out of here lately. So we're taking uh, that was the avenue. Now we're going to go on this little bike path and we'll go up to the. Uh, so, uh, so making the film. What else is going on? Uh, I've been listening to music. I miss mean, this guy. This uh, Sun Kill Moon, which I really like. What else? I've been listening to. I had Record Store Day not too long ago. That was kind of cool. Got a couple things. Got a Pixies album. Got a Almond Brothers. Got a Crimson King. King Crimson, right? King Crimson. That album was fun. Listen to music a lot. I'm watching this show on uh, Amazon called The Wilds. It's on, I think they have two seasons out so far. It's about these girls, these little high school kids that get uh, kind of trapped in this this like societal, you know, experiment where they think they're going on this retreat plane crashes and they're stranded on the island but they're being watched and observed and in theory uh, being analyzed how they can work together as a team or whatever and um, it's pretty good I actually like it. I'm enjoying it so it's kind of fun watching a little bit of that at night every now and then what else that's it dude I'm watching wilds Listen to a lot of music, some D MF Doom. Listen to a lot of MF Doom this week. Um, 
some jazz as usual. Uh, and then we'll get on this documentary. Oh, there's this book. There's a, a guy who reached out to me who wants me to design a book cover. I'm like, okay, I guess. Uh, so I reached, so he's like, hey, help me with this book cover. Will you design it? I'm like, okay, I'll do it. So 600 bucks, I designed this book cover, and we're kind of going back and forth. And there's some things he wants me to do that I just don't agree to it as a as a somewhat uh, you know artist, creative person. I just like I don't like the career decision of it, but it's also like his money and it's his book. And, you know, the client, you know, is, I'm not going to say the client's always right, but, you know, make the client happy. So, I'm trying to do that. I'm trying to make the client happy, even if I don't like it. It's a nice day. It's a little chilly. It's why you see I got my jacket on. It's, it gets chilly in Ventura, but as we go up, it literally like the temperature changes. Like you will, I'll feel how there's like certain spots where it's like, okay, it's now going to be like two degrees hotter, two degrees warmer and so on and so on. You just like start feeling the warmth of it. Hassan Minaj, or Hassan, Hassan, it's either Hassan, I think it's not Hassan, it's Hassan, Hassan Minaj. I saw him at a concert uh, in Thousand Islands, and it was really, really good. I really enjoyed it. So, that was fun. I'm gonna take a quick, I'm gonna take a quick uh, break here just for one quick second. So, give me a minute, I gotta readjust something real quick. 